The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the United States Championship. What a great match we have here to start off this night, guys. Well, Michael, I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, it could very well have been our main event. I can't think of a better way to kick off this night. I don't know. Part of me hoped Saxon would have got lost on the way to the announce table. That definitely would have made things better. But no such luck. Making his way to the ring from Gomez Palacio, Durango, Mexico, weighing in at 215 pounds, Andrade Cien Almas. Introducing the champion from parts unknown, weighing in at 210 pounds, he is the United States Champion, The Butcher. Ah, oh, yeah, it's go time. up has the potential to be special. We could be moments away from an instant classic. 
Man, this card is just packed with so many great matches. And this one is oh. definitely among the most anticipated, I'd say. The newfound focus of Andrade mm. Almas has brought him great rewards as of late. Oh, you may call it focus. I call it finding the perfect balance between work and play. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. Guys, some are saying this superstar has begun showing a bit of arrogance since the latest weekly rankings were released. But the way I see it, that's just confidence. Not looking good for the champ here. He's a true champion. Yikes. I suspect he has plenty of fight left in him. Hey, you're going to absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes oh. along with the territory, and he knows that. I doubt he's all that concerned at this point. That landed perfectly. There certainly is a fine line between arrogance and confidence, as Byron was saying, but whatever it is, I have no problem with it. This superstar has been on an absolute roll as of late. And who really cares if somebody's being arrogant? As the old saying goes, if you got it, flaunt it. And this superstar certainly has it. Every superstar knows that the key to being a perennial main eventer is securing a favorable spot in the weekly rankings, just like this superstar did this past week. Looks like the champ is starting to crack. And you have to wonder how much more the champ has to give. Oh, man, his chances are dwindling quickly. He's just taking on so much punishment. Man, isn't showing much life here, guys. Well done. Corey's absolutely right. The weekly rankings are so very important to achieving long-term success here in the WWE. But whatever... Hoping to end it early. Rough spot for him here. He's fighting from underneath. The champ is just being outclassed right now. Looks to me like he just hit a wall. He is hurt. There's the suicide dive, and this contest is now outside the ring. Gotta shake the cobwebs. I don't think he can take any more. He's making a statement here with this attack. And a lethal clothesline. Damage is taking a toll. The champ's starting to sweat. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid it. Yeah, but there's still quite a sizable variance as it relates to where these guys are health-wise. Injuries. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. Oh, he's able to reverse it. He's too quick for him there. Well, the back suplex coming. No! Wow! Face Buster is unique. I want to see that again. Yeah, you and me both.
think about using the finisher here pretty soon, I would think. Just pick up the win and move on. There's no need to keep this thing going longer than necessary. Reverses that one. Taking it to the back now. And he goes for the pin. Good point by Byron earlier. If there's an opening to execute the finisher, you got to take it. The last thing you want to do is let your opponent hang around for no reason. I can tell you bad things happen when you do that. If you don't believe me, just go back and watch Skip versus Barry Horowitz from 1995. I remember that like it was yesterday, Cole. Instead of putting Horowitz away, Skip thought it would be a good idea to do some mid-ring push-ups. As you were saying, the decision ultimately came back to haunt to do it. Quick pin attempt here. The champion is victorious. can watch highlight here is your winner and still the united states champion the butcher kicking off the night with an impressive victory if that's the type of action we're going to get all night long i can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold believe it or not that's just the beginning folks stay tuned for more great action